because they don't want to move the camera a little bit up. They don't want to because they don't want to do anything that's good for us. They don't want to do anything that's good for us. And you know what? They ought to be Donald Trump speaking in Atlanta, Georgia. The audience was not feeling it. You saw right there. Audience members were leaving in the middle of Donald Trump's speech as it was getting even more incoherent. I just want to remind you as well, though, the speech that Donald Trump gave yesterday, the day before this Atlanta speech, where he was speaking in Oaks, Pennsylvania, and people were quite literally passing out because they didn't turn the air conditioning on. And Donald Trump just stood there as people in the audience were like collapsing in front of him. And then he asked, can we play music? I want to dance in front of everybody. Here, play this clip. By the way, the entire crowd at that Atlanta uh, stadium or uh, performance hall only holds 2,750 people. It's the Cobb Energy Performing Arts Center. So the fact that people were leaving and he could only fill a venue of about 2,750 people in Atlanta, Georgia tells you a lot. But I mean, look, he was barely cogent. He could not put sentences together like watch this. Two days, Mr. Congressman. 32, she goes, and the election will be in 32 days. 32 days. The teleprompter crashed. 32 days. She kept going. Oh, I would have loved to. You know, it kicked back in. It's called a kickback. <laughs> like some people know a lot about a kickback. It's called a kickback. They know in this administration. But no, it's a kickback. It kicks back in. And as Aaron Ruper said, I don't think I've ever heard a human being even make this sound before. Let's play it. So we won two beautiful, big, horrible in many ways, but we won two world wars with that attitude. Donald Trump then heaped praise on Marjorie Taylor Greene and said what a respected and smart person she is. Play this clip. Marjorie Taylor Greene is going to knock it over. It's going to knock it on its ass like you knock your competitors on their ass, Marjorie. Right? And she does. She is highly respected, let me tell you. Smart. So it's coming down. And Donald Trump then says he came up with the word caravans. Play it. And I said, no, there isn't. You sent them over in a caravan. The caravan. I made up that name, too. I'm good at names. You know the names? <laughs> I'm not even sure what he's saying here. Uh, in ru in Russia, uh, I play the clip. He walked in with a couple of young constituents to show him the capital as I remember it. And they accused him of showing in Russia's what? And he became, instead of most people, they say, oh, please. He became the opposite, indignant and wild. And he has done some job on the committee. Barry Loudermilk. We love you, Barry. <laughs> Courage. Then Donald Trump says that black and Hispanic people who don't support him need to have their heads examined. Play the clip. But any African-American or Hispanic, and you know how well I'm doing there, that votes for Kamala, you got to have your head examined because they, they are really screwing you. Then he says that uh, Kamala Harris wants to let millions of illegal Medicare. Again, he's not saying sentences. Play this clip. She wants to let her millions of illegal Medicare or she wants to raid Medicare. That's what they're going to do. Raid Medicare. Oh, then he praises Marjorie Taylor Greene again. Play the clip. Pretty cool. You know, we got to protect our brilliant people. We got to remember that our, there aren't too many brilliant people around. Not too many, right, Marjorie? Marjorie knows better than anybody. There aren't too many. Oh, you lieutenant. Uh, lately, Donald Trump's been talking about hydrogen cars and blowing people up and that you won't be recognized if you're on hydrogen cars. He wanted to share this as well with this audience in Atlanta and said, your wife won't recognize you because you'll be blown up by hydrogen. Here, play the clip. We're going to have hybrids. We're going to have gasoline propelled cars. 
We're not going to have hydrogen cars. You know, hydrogen cars is the new thing, right? Do you know about that? Hydrogen is the new car. They say it's great. Has one problem. If it explodes, you're dead. If it explodes, they actually say if it explodes, you're unrecognizable. You call your wife over. They call up the wife. Would you please come here and take a look and see whether or not this is your husband? Because we cannot see. And she goes to the nearest tree, which is about 100 yards away, and she says, no, it's only blood. There's nothing there. She says, I can't tell. So hydrogen has one problem. It's extraordinarily dangerous. Other than that, the car works quite well, actually. <laughs> I won't get near. I will never get. I don't care how good it becomes. No, no matter. And they'll probably say they're making it safe, but it'll never be safe enough for us congressmen, right? Your schedule is busy, and sometimes intimate moments, well, they happen spontaneously. You don't have time to go to a doctor's office to get treated for ED. Through Hims, you can get a personalized ED treatment without stepping foot outside your door. Hims is changing men's health care by providing access to affordable sexual health treatments, all from the comfort of your couch. Hims provides access to a range of doctor-trusted ED treatments, such as chewable hard mints, proven treatments like Viagra and Cialis, or their generics for up to 95% cheaper. The process is simple and 100% online. No uncomfortable doctor's visits. Just answer a series of questions on their site and a medical provider will determine the right treatment option. If prescribed, your medication ships directly to you for free. No insurance is needed. Pay one low price for your treatments, online visits, ongoing shipments, and provider messaging. Hims has hundreds of thousands of trusted subscribers. So if ED is getting you down, it's time to find the option that works for you. Start your free online visit today at hymns.com slash Midas. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash Midas for your personalized ED treatment options. Hymns.com slash Midas. The products mentioned are chewable compounded products, which are not approved by or verified for safety or effectiveness by the FDA. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Then he repeats this lie that and he's going state to state, city to city telling this lie. He goes... You know, Atlanta or America is an occupied country. It requires liberation and that he wants to conquer America and, and liberate it. We're not an occupied nation. What is going on, folks? Play this clip. The United States is now an occupied country. But on November 5th, 2024, that will be Liberation Day in America. Liberation Day. More Trump rambling here, saying they don't want good things for us. I don't even know what he's saying here. Play the clip. They don't want to do anything that's good for us. They don't want to do anything that's good for us. And you know what? They ought to be ashamed of themselves. I'm going to ask them to put on woke. Do you know this? what this is all about? We don't have a woke military. But some people think there are some people in the top. Can you put that woke military, put it up the master sergeant? Then he says something about if he doesn't win, then why is it even very much? And we can't let that happen again. He's not even saying sentences. Play this clip. If you don't win, 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 we've all had a good time, but it's not going to matter, right? Sadly, because what we've done is amazing. Three nominations in a row. What we've done, we got to win. If we don't win, it's like uh, it was all it was all for not very much. We can't uh, we can't let that happen. Vice President Kamala Harris's campaign made the following graphic from MSNBC's Trump age is a bigger problem than ever from the Washington Post. Trump mixes up words, serve, swerves among subjects and off topic speech. New York Magazine, Donald Trump is deteriorating. The Daily Beast, how Trump's speeches are a red flag for mental decline experts. New York Times, Trump's speeches increasingly angry and rambling reignite questions of age. Can we just contrast that uh, for a moment to Governor Wall's speech from earlier in the day, announcing a plan to recruit 10,000 rural health care professionals, like actual things for we the people play the clip. So here's the plan. 
We're going to recruit 10,000 rural healthcare professionals. Cut the number. This is a term that none of us knew before. Ambulance deserts. There's large places in America right now, if you dial 911, it's very difficult to get to an ambulance right on time. Our EMTs are in short supply. And here, Governor Walls talks about like, what, what is even going on with the Republican Party as they become MAGA? Trump's up there just doing the YMCA? Here, play this clip. You talk about this. We need to go out to people and say, what do you stand for? Because right now, oh, I don't know, Donald Trump's dancing to YMCA. I think I'll vote for him. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Kamala Harris is out there putting a plan to make sure that wealth stays in communities, new farmers get on the land, that we open trade routes for folks, that we're helping health care, that we're keeping rural access hospitals open. So and Governor Walls talks about Donald Trump wandering into a grocery store. Play this clip. But he walks into this grocery store and he hands a hundred dollar bill to a lady to pay for his groceries. Did you see this? So I'm like thinking, I, I wonder what he's doing there. And then I got to thinking, I think it's just natural. Any woman he sees, he pays off because he did something on there. I'm going to, I don't know. I don't know. Governor Walls talks about background checks. Let's play it. We'll see this, uh, this idea about uh, background checks. Vice President, I can pass them on the other side of the ticket. You know the 34 felonies? You can't pass a background check. So look. Don't let your neighbors, and let's not allow this to happen to divide us. This is not the issues they want it to be. We will protect. Nobody's coming for your guns. Governor Walls then shows what Donald Trump has been saying at his speeches, and he like reads what Donald Trump says about groceries. Play this clip. More years would look like, but this one really got me going. He, uh, he was talking about groceries, and um, he... <laughs> He started rambling about groceries. I don't know if some of you saw. I'm going to give this one. Here's what he said. I had to put this on here so I don't misquote it. I have more complaints on grocery. The word grocery, you know, it's sort of a simple word, but it sort of means like everything you eat. The stomach is speaking. It always does. Here's the front page of uh, Drudge right now. Take a look at that. And let me just show you, just to remind you too, from that speech I showed with you earlier in the video at that town hall in Oaks, Pennsylvania, where people were passing out. Um, here, Donald Trump says, I don't want to do questions. Let's just listen to music. So as people are fainting in front of him and passing out and there's no air conditioning, they're just listening to music and he's bobbing his head to this weird soundtrack. Play this clip. Let's not do any more questions. Let's just listen to music. Let's make it into a music. <laughs> Who the hell wants to hear questions, right? Uh, that's, isn't that beautiful, though? It's such a beautiful. And we played that in Butler, Pennsylvania. We had a moment of silence, and then we had the bells of Notre Dame go off, and then we had a great opera singer, Christopher, who was so incredible, and a great, great opera singer. And then you have Christy Nome, the governor of South Dakota, who's hosting this town hall or moderating it. I'm not sure why the South Dakota governor's do, doing anything with this. And she's like, oh, hey, Donald, can we play your favorite music? You want us to play your favorite songs? I mean, seriously, this looks like, I'm not trying to be rude here, just this looks kind of like a, a caretaker in hospice care. Like that's what we're observing here, watch this. <laughs> anyway, go ahead, please. Yep. Well, sir, do you want to play your song and then greet a few people or do you want to? Well, you had said you wanted to close with a specific song. Okay, or let's do a couple of more fast questions. So, Justin, how about a couple of really beauties and we'll sit down, and relax. Let me just give you the bottom line, though. Judge for yourself. Share with your friends. Corporate media isn't covering this stuff. So we have to you have to share these videos. So send this to people, you know, if you've got, you know, kids or grandkids or cousins or people take this video now put it in a text message and send it to them and say, you need to watch this. Just say, just say, do me a favor if you love me or if you're friends with me, just can you watch this and then call me after, just do that for me, okay? Confirm that you've done that in the comments below. Make sure you're registered to vote. Make sure your family's registered to vote. Make sure coworkers, neighbors, anybody you know who supports democracy Make sure they're registered to vote. You can be the difference for real. Don't just watch this video and, and end, like start. Let's make sure people are registered, okay? 
Thank you. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 4 million together. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.